in a similar manner we can uh, calculate tau square psi by tau y square and tau square psi by tau y square z square so tau square psi by tau y square will be sine theta sine phi this is sine phi tau by tau y plus cos theta sine phi by r tau by tau theta minus cos phi by r sine phi into tau by tau phi sorry sine theta this is theta okay uh, if this will act on this is your uh, dou by dou y and this will act on under dou psi by dou y so the dou psi by dou y will be this thing multiplied by psi or this thing operating on psi this will be multiplied by sine theta sine phi dou psi by dou r plus cos theta sine phi dou psi by dou theta minus cos phi by r sin theta do psi by do phi so this is your do square psi by do y square in a similar manner we can write do square uh, psi by do z square so it will be Tau square psi by tau z square will be by tau into cos theta tau psi by do r minus sin theta by r dou psi by dou theta so the previous equation will be equation b and this will be equation c now you will be able to find del square which is dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou x square so substituting for these three values and adding you will get uh, del square psi equals 1 by r square dou by dou r r square dou psi plus 1 by r square sine theta dou by dou theta sine theta dou psi by dou theta plus 1 by r square sine square theta dou square psi by dou phi square so this will be your equation Uh, so we have calculated del square psi here now uh, What is left is to substitute this in the general Schrodinger equation forget about the Schrodinger equation there of hydrogen atom we will substitute this in the uh, Schrodinger equation uh, in uh, time independent Schrodinger equation in three dimension which will be of the form del square psi of r plus 2m by h pro square into e minus v psi zero so after the substitution uh, the Schrodinger equation uh, will appear like this and we have labeled this equation e uh, now uh, now what about the nature of the solution 
so here uh, we know that we are only interested in the radial component of Schrodinger equation because uh, the only factor affecting the potential is the uh, is r which is the uh, distance between uh, the uh, the nucleus and electron so uh, we better go for a, a solution uh, which has independent components uh, of r theta and phi so this will be an ideal solution here uh, psi which is a function of r theta and phi uh, will be equal to uh, R, which is only a function of R, a small r, and capital theta, which is only a function of theta, and phi, which is a function of small phi. So, the advantage of this equation is that the, the Schrodinger equation in three dimension can be written into uh, three one dimensional equations, and therefore it will be easy for us to solve the problem. So, uh, now we are uh, substituting uh, the value of psi in equation in the, in the equation e uh, and also we are multiplying uh, it with r square sine square theta divided by r theta phi to remove the excess terms of uh, uh, theta phi uh, the theta phi combination the r theta combination and the r phi combinations uh, to remove that and your equation will be uh, a much better looking one and this will be here the phi component was taken uh, to the uh, RHS uh, so um, we can label this as F so if you carefully look uh, you can see that uh, the RHS is only a function of phi while uh, the LHS is a function of R and theta uh, so, uh, this equation is valid only when the RHS and LHS both can be separately equated to a constant. Okay, uh, you, I hope you have understood the logic because uh, unless this is a constant, here uh, will be an R and theta term and here will be a phi term. So, we will find it difficult to connect them. We don't know how they are related. They are uh, separate terms, independent terms. Uh, independent entities uh, so um, un unless uh, we can say that uh, both of these terms can be equated to a, a constant then there is a chance that because constants just don't depend on r theta or phi then there is a chance that this equation uh, can be uh, said true so let the constant be m square then you may be able to write d square phi by d phi square equals uh, m square minus m square into take this to the uh, left then it will be m square into phi so capital phi sorry capital phi which is a function of small phi here also capital phi is a function of small phi so this is your equation uh, g and uh, and what will be this equation this part this uh, left hand side of this equation so we will we should be able to equate that to to m square so let's do it sine square theta by r d by dr of r square dr by dr plus sine theta divided by capital theta d by d theta of sine theta d capital theta divided by d theta plus 2m by h cross square into a minus v of r into r square sine square theta and this can be equated to 10 square now if you divide uh, both sides of this equation by m square uh, sorry uh, 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 sine square theta sine square theta uh, to remove this sine square theta actually we are doing this uh, then your equation will look like uh, 1 by r into d by dr 
uh, square t r i d r plus 2m by h cross square into e minus v r square so this term only have uh, this term only has uh, uh, the r component the components which depends on r so uh, all the theta components should be uh, taken to the uh, right hand side so this will be theta sine theta d by d theta of sine theta d capital theta d theta plus m square divided by sine square theta okay uh, so following a similar argument uh, that we have made in the case of equation f uh, this is only true this part is entirely dependent on only dependent on r and this is uh, dependent only on theta so uh, an r component and theta component can only be the same when both sides can be separately equal to uh, a constant so let's that constant be uh, lambda this time then uh, you will be able to write the LHS of the previous equation as by r by dr r square dr by d plus 2m by h cut square into e minus v of r square you will be able to equate this to lambda now you have to multiply this by r by r square apply this equation so uh, you will get um, 1 by r square d by dr r square dr by dr plus 2m by h cut square e minus b of r into r minus lambda by r square into r equals 0 uh, so uh, let this be your equation h and uh, the theta equation can be written as 1 by sine theta d by d theta of sine theta d capital theta d theta plus lambda minus m square by sine theta theta plus zero which is your equation L okay uh, so I as I have stated earlier uh, we are only interested in equation H because uh, uh, the potentially spherical symmetric However, uh, the lambda here is an unknown. The nature of uh, lambda will be automatically revealed while trying to solve the theta equation. Uh, uh, since we don't really require to uh, completely solve this equation in the hydrogen atom problem, we will be uh, just discussing uh, the relevant steps to find out the value of lambda. So let's see how we can uh, solve uh, uh, this equation here um, now we have to we will we'll first simplify equation L by uh, substituting uh, cos theta equals Z in that case you will have Tz equals uh, uh, minus sine theta d theta or d by d theta equals minus sine theta d by d z which is equal to minus sine theta is 1 minus z square the whole raised to half d by d z so making use of uh, these relations in equation l l can be rewritten as d by d z of uh, 
1 minus z oh sorry 1 minus z square into d theta by dz plus lambda minus mz by 1 minus z square into theta and this will be equal to 0. Now uh, a careful uh, look at this equation uh, will reveal that this is in the form of associated legendary uh, equation. Uh, the only thing is that uh, instead of lambda we should have got an L into L plus 1 here then uh, your original uh, associated legendary polynomial equation is d by dx of uh, 1 minus x square we have e z instead of x here uh, and dp x divided by dx we have theta capital theta here which is a function of z and and uh, this will be added with uh, l into l plus 1 minus m square by 1 minus x square into dx equals 0 so this is uh, uh, this has got a very uh, good similarity to this equation if we replace lambda with la l into l plus 1 so let's replace it with lambda with l into l plus 1 and the associated legend polynomial demands that uh, m will be uh, will have a value from uh, uh, 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 etc up to plus or minus l where l can have value from 0 to so the value of l here depends on the value of n the principal quantum number now yeah, the, the meaning of uh, this l and m is uh, immediately uh, become uh, becoming evident uh, so l would be uh, your the orbital angular momentum of uh, uh, the electron and also uh, m will be the magnetic quantum number uh, so this automatically automatically comes in the equation uh, uh, because uh, we have seen that uh, the theta equation as a, is a lot similar to the, uh, the associated legendary equation so uh, if uh, it is in the form of associated legendary equation then it's imperative that lambda must be replaced with uh, l into l plus 1 now that we have obtained the value of lambda we can substitute it in equation h uh, so now our radial equation uh, will look like this 1 by r square d by dr of uh, r square dr by dr plus 2m by h pro square into e minus v of r minus L into L plus 1 by R square into R and this will be equal to C. So let this be equation M. Uh, so uh, now we are replacing mu we are coming to the real problem so we are replacing mu uh, sorry m with mu uh, and uh, also we are uh, uh, substituting v of r with k is e square by r minus k is e square by r so this will be so this equation m will be uh, 1 by r square into d square dr of square dr by 
plus 2 mu by h cross square into e plus k is a e square by r minus l into l plus 1 h cross square divided by 2 mu r square into r equals 0 okay so let's label this uh, equation as uh, equation 2 okay so this is uh, from where we'll be starting our next classes this is the radial equation for the hydrogen atom